Hello, my darling dearest. It has been far longer than I anticipated. <laughs> Life has been a little nuts. We just finished um, Holy Week, which for anybody not in the know is, is basically the week between Palm Sunday. Well, there's not basically, it is. It's the week b between Palm Sunday and Easter Sunday. And uh, for a lot of people, particularly musicians, it's a very, very busy time. We end up singing a lot of stuff around uh, around Holy Week, uh, and so my voice is very tired. On top of Holy Week, we also uh, just started rehearsals for JFK, which uh, in, is the answer to the question at the end of your last video. Um, uh, let me see. Da, 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 da. JFK. Uh, it is a new, newly commissioned work for Fort Worth Opera. I have this weird thing in my mouth. Let me take that out. Uh, <laughs> for Fort Worth Opera. Um, it's It's been in the works for about five years. We did an orchestra uh, workshop back in September. So I had, our, I had already heard said music. Uh, and we already had a good little jump start on the music there, uh, which was incredibly helpful because... With the director we have, um, he is very intense and he's very talented, uh, but he uh, likes to do a lot on stage. Uh, so it's good that we have additional staging time that would usually be uh, given to music time because we already had the music learned, which is helpful. So uh, that's good. So that's my next that's my next performance opportunity. Um, I'm not. A huge proponent of selling things if I if I don't think that it's a good idea I don't like doing it that makes me really uncomfortable so uh, anything I'm going to put my name on and say you should do this um, I've thought about it a lot and and I'm comfortable doing that um, so that being said uh, even if you have no experience with opera whatsoever if you if you are, if you like music, if you're curious about the art form, this is the show you should go see. Um, it is a speculative story of the last hours of uh, John F. Kennedy's life um, that he spent in Fort Worth the night before the motorcade in Dallas where he was assassinated. Um, it's not by any stretch of the imagination, a historical document, um, but they did a lot of research into the background of his life, what was going on with him personally, what was going on with him politically, and they have created a beautiful piece of art that I am, honest to God, so excited to be a part of. Um, it's absolutely stunning music. The, the libretto is just e evocative. It's, it's an amazing piece, um, and it plays close enough to something that is musical theater that it's not quite so, so much of a disconnect with people coming into opera for the first time, and that's really why I suggest it. Um, it, it if, you, if you like theater and you like music, this is as close to musical theater as you'll get with opera. Um, I really, really, really suggest that you get the tickets. It's fwopera.org, um, and that has all of the information there. It's going to be at the gorgeous Bass Hall in downtown Fort Worth. I cannot stress this enough. You really should go see it. And you, my lovely, you already have two tickets. So, are you excited? Because I'm excited. Um... So yeah, that's that's really that's my next that's my next performance opportunity, um, and I know that you love living vicariously through me. I, you, you, my darling, you also have a lovely voice, and I, I we should do something. I don't know. I, I used to listen to your voice all the time when we were doing clockwork because uh, I was editing the the audio on that, but um, I don't know. I feel I'm I I'm so. There's so much going on right now, um, just between rehearsals and work, and because they're they have us on some overtime stuff at work, so everything's just a little like eh, right now. Um, but once that calms down, um, we should we should make plans to do something, either pictures or 
or arty something, artsy something. I don't know. We should do something. Oh, you can have, oh, 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 I started, I, I learned how to make paper flowers. Maybe we can play, maybe we can make paper flowers together. That sounds like fun things to me and it helps me do things. I have my nails done. I need to get them redone because they're really, really grown out. I learned if I don't wear the ends of my nails out, my nails grow really quickly. Also, I'm blonde now. Da, da, da. Um, that was my introduction uh, when we when we did stuff. Uh, the first music rehearsal, everybody runs around the, the room and goes, hey, I'm, I'm Tracy and this is the thing. And so when I stood up and said, I'm Tracy, and I didn't immediately say something, our, our rehearsal pianist goes, and you're blonde. <laughs> I was like, and I'm blonde, thanks, and sat back down. <laughs> So, um, we do have a rehearsal tonight. I'm on my way to the chiropractor because I managed to um, do something stupid to myself and now I have sciatic nerve pain, uh, which is new and I really, really, really don't recommend it. And But like I said to you in a text, now I sort of feel like I have some sort of basis for um, your life. I, I kind of get it a little bit better now. I'm sorry. <laughs> nerve pain is awful awful. Um, so I'm going to go get that scene about, and then I'm going to go uh, scarf down a quick dinner and then go to rehearsal, uh, where we will probably play with like a temple of doom size beach ball, uh, boulder thing. And it will be fun. Just come see the show. You'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. It's a little trippy. Uh, so I'll talk to you later. Uh, oh God, I don't have a question. Um, have you, 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 you've done, you've done artsy things. What is your favorite performance that you've ever been involved in? Cause I know that you did stuff in high school and, and college and stuff. I'm not sure what, if you did anything after that, but what was your perfect, your per favorite, your favorite performance that you ever participated in? What was your favorite thing you did? And we'll get back to you later, but have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.